So I did a full calibration on this thing. Um, the calibration procedure is very simple. Uh, not a lot to go wrong here. The, the uh, manual is very, very uh, clear on what to do. And uh, there's about five adjustments you make or something like that. It wasn't too bad. So uh, what I have set up here is I have 10 volts coming into a one uh, mega ohm resistor. So we should have uh, 10 microamps and we have 10 microamps <laughs> and my new Agilent, eh, it's sort of 10, 9.93. I believe this one actually more. <laughs> um, and uh, check this out. So we will take out the one mega ohm, one mega ohm resistor. And I happen to have a 100 mega ohm resistor right here. So let's put the 100 ohm, 100, 100 mega ohm resistor and this thing's kind of hurting. We'll go down a range, we'll go down a range. <laughs> And uh, let's see how we're doing here. 99 nanoamps. 99 nanoamps. <laughs> this thing's gonna 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 fail at this at, at this test. So this thing is a uh, this thing is pretty nice. Let me uh, make sure our contacts are good here. There we go. Oh, a little bit of noise on this thing. Maybe there's maybe it's noise down there. Let me bring it up here on the bench. Yeah, ninety nine point six. Very nice. Can we go up a range? No, we can't go down a range. Very very nice. Very very nice. So uh, this uh, this meter is awesome. It goes down to uh, ten nano. Let's see, do I have a? I think I have a. I think I have a thousand mega ohm. Let me look. Let's see here. I think I have a thousand mega ohm. Here's 400, 400 mega ohms. 25. Can we go down a range? No, it's, it's, I need to have at least a thousand. Let me see. Here. Give me a second. I know I've got a thousand. I know I do. All right, so here is an 800 mega ohm. That's the biggest one I could find, right? At just looking in the box. So, and I'll change my power supply to eight volts. Eight volts. So that should be 10 nanoamps. There we go. Can I go up a range? It's gonna have a real long settling time. Look at that. <laughs> Joy forever. 10 nanoamps. <laughs> yeah, my little meter here. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I will turn him off, put him out of his misery. <laughs> but yeah, look, look at that. That's uh, that's beautiful. So my $29 investment, I think, is uh, is pretty awesome. I've got a, uh, you know, they would call this probably an electrometer. I, I don't know why they didn't back then. Maybe it was one of their first ones, but uh, uh, 10 nanoamp full scale. It'll do uh, picoamps down here, right? So this is 10 nanoamps, nanoamps, 100 picoamps, 10 picoamps. So it's got 10 picoamp resolution. And uh, yeah, and we should be able to measure this. Uh, yeah, let's disconnect this. Let's see if we can measure a 13, let's see, did I put it away? Let's see, what was this one? This is a 400 mega ohm resistor. Let's see if we can measure a 400 mega ohm resistor. All right, mega ohms. I think we need a bigger range. And we'll go here and see. Oh, it's settling time. It's just settling time. I was just being too, too hard with it. There we go. It's on its way to. Oh, I, I touched it. So you have to be very, very careful. Stay away. Don't breathe on it. 
and let it settle. So at least 345 mega ohms it's measuring. What's this one? This is a 13 mega ohm resistor. Let's measure that one. Let's see if we're doing here. 13. Yeah, 13 is fine. I can change ranges on that one. 13.6. There we go. 13 mega ohms. So it's doing really well, 13 mega ohms with lots of resolution. And let's go back to our 400 mega ohm resistor. It has to balance the charge in its uh, A to D converter. Mm, a little bit higher this time. 360 mega ohms. Anyway, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and it's super tiny, right? I've got the big giant uh, electrometer over on the side there, but it's just too big for my for my shelf. But this one's uh, this one is in uh, easy uh, easy range of putting it on my shelf here, and it's super light too. <laughs> I mean, it's just nothing to it. It's great. I love it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, uh, Keith Lee One Sixty B. And uh, I'll think of, try to think of some uh, cool experiments to do in the nanoamp, microamp range. Um, might, be a, might be a fun toy to have. Okay, I'll leave you with a, a measurement. So when you want to measure like nanoamps, uh, short, short these two together um, and then use the zero knob, okay? So the zero knob allows you to, uh, so that's negative and now it's positive, right? Um, so the zero knob allows you to set a zero and you definitely need to set a zero in order to, and there's a long settling time so you have to be patient uh, with, the, with the settling. Okay, we're a little, now we're a little bit positive. And this is probably good, but this is 0.1 nanoamps, right? We'll go, there we go, 0.0. If you're if you're careful, you can. That's probably that's probably okay. There's room noise and stuff. You should have shielded boxes when you do things like that. We'll just call it 0 0.1 nanoamps of offset current. Okay, so let's measure something that has something like nanoamps of current. Let's put it in an LED. So we're going to use LED as the photodiode, and see what kind of current we get out of it. Okay, so this is just pointing up at my room lights, and we're getting 1.3 nanoamps. <laughs> Not going to do much uh, energy harvesting with that. Um, we can take a flashlight and we can shine the flashlight on it and we can get overload. We can get 130 nanoamps. Oh, even overload again. Uh, really getting that light in there. 0.2 microamps, so 200, 200 and some odd, 200 and some odd uh, nanoamps. So, yeah, you could use it for something like that. Um, Let's do one other experiment here. Uh, let me see, let me find a... Uh, this is a 1N4148, all right? And uh, it should have no photo current. Let's shine, a, let's shine a flashlight on it. Look at that. It's photo current. Let me turn it around the other way so it goes to a positive number. Okay, so uh, 0 .0, 0 0.01 microamps. Let's put it on nanoamps. Okay, so nanoamps, point, point 0.1 nanoamps, and I'm gonna shine a flashlight on it, and we're getting 13 nanoamps. So almost as good as the LED, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, these clear diodes um, turned into solar cells. Uh, so yeah, some diodes you'll notice are in clear packages, which doesn't make any sense, and a lot of diodes are in black plastic, which makes more sense, and that's why your, uh, that's why your transistors are black, because uh, you don't want that photo stuff going around in there. So anyway, so nice thing about this meter is you can measure such small things.